When a high quality company with a terrific track record temporarily stumbles, you need to be ready to do the homework and then pounce if the long term story is still intact. That's exactly how I feel about Brunswick Corporation, BC, the company that's the world's top maker of recreational boats, including my own 17 foot Boston Whaler, and boat engines with the sideline billiards tables, fitness machines, the best, the highest end. In short, it's the ultimate discretionary spending play. Now, Brunswick reported last week, and the company missed Wall Street's estimates on both the top and the bottom line, in part because they took a hit from the strong dollar, and in part because the company spent pretty heavily to fuel the future, the future growth starting in the second half of this year. This is what we want companies to do. But in response, the stock got slammed down 7% in a single session last Wednesday. At these levels, I think Brunswick is darn cheap, trading at just 14.7 times next year's earnings estimates, and we know that growth is poised to pick up later this year, especially since we believe here on Mad Money that the dollar's peaked. Brunswick's given us some tremendous gains over the years, including a 26% move since we last spoke to the CEO in February of last year. I bet it resumes its March higher. Don't take it from me. Let's check in with Dusty McCoy, the chairman and CEO of Brunswick Corporation. You hear more about the quarter and where his company's headed. Mr. McCoy, welcome back to Mad Money. Hi, Jim. Good to see you, Dusty. Have a Thanks seat. for having us. Dusty, we had a good employment number today, and I was thinking about you guys because in 2007, when we got back to these kinds of numbers, you, you all boat companies sold many more boats. Mm -hmm. Have to believe, as these numbers stabilize, and it looks like they now have for several months, that we're going to revert to some, some level much closer to where it used to be. There's absolutely no doubt about that. But, you know, Jim, what I think what a lot of people are missing about our industry, in certain segments, we're above 2007 right, right, levels. And so what we're doing is, in, in our company, we've got to go to where these consumers are going to be there waiting on them. And that's led a lot of our great earnings growth, margin growth, and ultimately our stock price. But you've have, you have to spend to do that. You, we, because we, you have a, you put, there's, a, how many other boat manufacturers in the country? 1,100. How can that be? <laughs> Who are those guys? They're, they're all out there. There were 1,100 of them selling boats before the recession. There are 1,100 of them selling boats. I would have boats thought right there now. would have been a consolidation. These guys would have gone under. Unfortunately, the, blessing, the, only, the only place there's been consolidation has been in the dealer network. So right. we're out there competing for shelf space. But you have to spend the money. Now, there was a, you're, you guys have been so transparent. There was a number in here that I thought was amazing because people don't understand what currency means. Mm -hmm. It costs 20% more to buy Brunswick Boat in Canada? That's correct, yes. Well, that's, a, it, that's it, just a, not it, a bargain, it, it, sir. It, but one of the things we've probably done wrong over the years, Jim, we haven't disclosed how much market share we have in Canada. Right. It's got a six in front of it. Yeah, so I that, couldn't that's believe a, that, it. That's, you that's are a big Canada. impact on us. That, that, that's but that we're does doing. hurt. It but, just but, hurts. But as we look around the world, you know, one of the things we try not to do is whine about currency. Right, right. We've left our thesis intact. Our guidance has not changed. We're just going to have to deal with this. Because, frankly, we didn't take advantage of it when the currency was going our way and say how well it was helping us. So let's not talk about how it's hurting us. Let's just deal with well, it. Well, let's talk about where it hasn't seemed to, to matter. Scandinavia and Southern Europe strong again. You said that you started to see some green shoots there last year. It, it, it's really good. It, it's really good. If, if we look around the world in our boat business, we were up nearly 20% in the United States in the first quarter, 16% in Europe, and then there's the rest of the world that, that pulled us down. If you want to call 12% growth in the boat business being down. No, I don't think it's – anyone who's selling it, I think, is making a very short-term decision. I'm going to talk about, about life fitness. We'll talk about uh, – sure. there are soul cycles all over my place. i got new gyms opening up around – in a 10-mile radius, there's – a new gym seems to open up. Sure. It, are there more – Pieces of high-end equipment like yours that you should be making? Well, it, it may be not more equipment that we should be making, but we need to keep introducing new product right, that hits right. the, the, the market where it's going. So we had lots of new product introductions last year. And you've alluded to this. We keep investing heavily in Right. The club that I belong to just business. bought all your stuff. We love that then. Yeah, uh, it's true. Well, we, we have number one market share in the United States uh, in any high-end club or right. in any self-help club, if you will, because our equipment goes in, it works forever, doesn't right. break down. So if you're in a 24-hour fitness where you want to swipe and go in, our, our equipment's going to be there to take care of you. Okay. Uh, now, there's a couple other things that, that I thought that we, should, we don't speak enough about and you alluded to just now, but you are doing a lot of tech technology in boating and in parts in boating that is putting you away, putting you ahead of everybody else. We don't think of Brunswick as a technology company. Mm -hmm. That's an incorrect assumption. Uh, yes, uh, it, it is, Jim. We spend 3% of sales on R&D year in and year out. We spend 4% of sales on CapEx, but we, we allocate 65% of that CapEx on new product, new models, expansion, things like that. 
So we very quietly filed lots of patents, especially in our in engine business and our fitness business, then followed a bit by our bo uh, boating business. Well, will, we've come, will, there will, be a, will there be a Tesla engine for a Brunswick, you know, the equivalent of? We have one. Uh, we've been testing it for years yeah, at, okay. at, at the Miami Boat Show. And people aren't buying it? Uh, they haven't gone there yet. Why not? So, so we're waiting on them. Do, do they like the smell of the diesel? <laughs> they like the smell of the diesel, the, the feel of the engine. They feel there's a little more independence if, if, if they don't use batteries. But we've done uh, being able to charge a battery with a diesel engine, including using solar panels. The, bo the boats it? are wonderful. They're not ready for it yet. I I'll so, take so, one. So we're waiting. All right. We need more than one, though, Jim. No, no, that's true. You know, I, I wouldn't just, yeah, we're, we're, we're just. We're waiting and, for the remember, market. Remember, I want a 17 foot one, which is probably not that lucrative <laughs> for you. But, you know, look, I think you guys have. This, was the, this is the opportunity. They periodically occur. Yes. Uh, and people don't understand this is a long term, both cyclical and secular trend, both of them happening at the same time. That's Dustin McCoy, the chairman and CEO of Brunswick Corporation, BC. Been one of our longest standing recommendations. I'm telling you, I think it's a buy. May have money's back into the break. Booyah! Jim Cramer here from Mad Money. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube. Click here to subscribe and get the jump on my exclusives with CEOs, plus market news, investing advice, and a whole lot more.